Well, hello, friends. Um, today we are going to port one more thing, and then I should probably get back to kernel hacking or whatever. But before we go there, I want to port new make. And yeah, as you can see, I've already been to the web page here uh, before, but now we are actually going to download it and build it. So um, let's do that. Um, right, so I'm, I know that this is going to fail, it always fails, so might as well fix it up before we start. Um, and wait, what the hell is the thing it always says? Of all, this something. Basic system types. Yeah, so we want to find the list of basic system types. And, um, oh, damn it. Those were, I don't know what the hell those were. Uh, okay, so we want to put this. And now Serenity will be a, a recognized system type. Right. Then we can go and actually try to build it. Um, da -da -da. Configure. Um, so it's a little bit early today, so I hope hope I won't be too slow in the head for this. But you know, let's try it out. So configure went fine. Let's see if we can make make. Uh huh. Um, ar dot h. AR. What the frick is that? Um, well, on Linux, it is a header describing the AR archive format. Um, is that part of libc? Uh, well, I don't have AR. Can we just build without this? Archive. Um, well, I don't want to implement the archive file format right now, so can we just compile this out? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, no archives. I like the sound of that. It's an S make file, SC options, make file with that AMI. What the frick is that? An Amiga make file. Uh, that's not what we're using right now. Um, I guess we just have to edit the, um, the regular make file. Um, so we'll just add it here, I guess. No archives. Okay, let's try that again. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't have file locking support, which I guess th what this is about. Um, but it might just be a matter of adding a couple of um, header things. So let's look it up in F control. Um, so we need this struct. Um, so let's just create one. And we can say like, what stuff did it have? So oh, not that. I guess we'll do the short L type, short L wins of T. I'll start T. And pid T, pid L pid. Um, let's just put those. And we'll need sys types for the off T. Uh, okay. 
and um, make it clean. Make it install. Let's put a little juice in it. Okay. Let's see how that works. I mean, we didn't add any defines. Yeah, okay, so I picked up the struct, but uh, we're gonna need these um, defines here. So write lock, set lock, wuh, unlock, and set lock, wuh. Um, let's just be lazy and um, and let's just see what the, those are. Usually we're here. Say if we're lock one. This is a bit of a lazy way of doing things, but that'll it'll do fine for now. Set lock one, seven, and let's unlock. It's two. I think those are the only ones we had, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got this far, but now we have undefined reference to temp file, um, which is a libc function that creates a temporary file, right? So. I guess because we only have a declaration. So that's an STDIO. Let's just do something like this. Do prepareNF fixing component and file. Uh, Sir not reached. Okay. Whatever. Like we might not need to implement that, so let's just have a stop. Okay. Seems like it built. Um, okay, let's install this and see how it works. Uh, root install. And then uh, let's make a new terminal. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have some problems here. It's a lot of assertion fail. And this is a bit sketchy because is assertion failed in the same process every time? So uh, that's not really supposed to happen because it should exit after the first time it happens. So what the heck is up with that? Um, let's look at it. Let's see. Malloc CPP. How was it? Magic page header. Right, so this assertion here is failing and then it fails again. Um, so we go here, we say user space assertion failed, and then we abort. Um, oh, 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 yeah, okay, so this isn't really the way a board is supposed to work. Um, and I bet you that what happens now is that a board is actually supposed to do um, sort of like this, but that doesn't really work right now because some missing things, but uh, 
So for the time being, a board is just a wrapper around exit. But that means that exit is going to run exit time destructors, which I suppose might call free, which will frick everything up. Um, so how about we just do this? Um, I mean, we can do like that. Because crash, it will do, um, it will just insert an undefined opcode or like a, um, a UD2, uh, which means that we'll get an invalid opcode exception crash there. Um, and then we will end up in uh, here in the invalid opcode handler. And uh, maybe we should even dump backtrace here so we can see what's going on. Let's rebuild libc, and then, uh, wait, hold on, and reinstall make, and, what? okay, so let's see what's happening, make, um, okay, so we get this error, no target specified, no make file found, stop. And then um, we are crashing and, oh, here's the backtrace. And it says die close as to the out F close free. So we're crashing below F close, presumably because we're closing as to the out. Can you close as to the out? Um, oh, wait, this thing is, Turn into kernel mode. Let me just change that to user one. Okay. Um, so std out is um, std out is not malloced, so we cannot free it. That's probably a problem. Um, so we should do something differently about that. I guess the lazy fix here, so we have three default streams or four default streams. Uh, it's these ones. Um, so we could do a little bit of a hack here and say that if stream is uh, default streams, wait, what was it? Oh, underbar, underbar. This is kind of hackish, but maybe the um, maybe the real solution is that std out and, and std in and whatever that they should be malloced. But I don't want to investigate that right now, so I'm just gonna say. Um, oh, I should have written it this way actually. I'm just gonna say that we only free if it's not one of these streams. the libc window here and then we rebuild make and then install make and run again okay so at least now we are exiting kind of cleanly i mean we're exiting with an error code but i guess that's fine because make is just telling us that well i didn't find a make file um, so I have a C file here in my home directory. Uh, let's do make T. Uh huh. Okay. So now we are failing in wait, which I don't think is implemented. Mm -hmm. But I do know that we have wait pid uh, here. Wait pid is implemented. So maybe we can implement wait in terms of wait pid. Um, how does wait do? 
The wait system call suspends execution of the calling thread until one of its children terminates. The call wait is equivalent to... Damn, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Um, okay, so then that's exactly equivalent to wait pivot minus one w status zero. Maybe we'll just need unistd.h. Um, that's very nice if that just works. Oh, frick, compile the wrong thing. Okay, uh, so let's uh, link with the new loop C and then try it again. Make T. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not exiting. And it doesn't find CC, which is normal because we don't have it. We have GCC though. Um, but why don't you exit? So that would be this process here, which is in state signal. Um, and signal is a state th that um, it's a blocked state where if a signal is sent to a process, then, then it will move into block state, uh, the block state called block signal. And that means that uh, the scheduler knows that next time that um, we do a scheduling iteration, then this process needs to do a signal dispatch. So it's just supposed to be a temporary state. So the fact that he was in signal is suspicious because uh, it's only you're only supposed to be in that state for one scheduler iteration because the scheduler is supposed to then initiate the signal dispatch. So let me show you that um, this is where this is what it looks like when we put a signal in, or a thread into that state. So if it has an unmasked pending signal, then we put you into blocked signal. Um, and I think that yeah, yes, like those are literally all the the only states where we move into blocked signal. Um, so why are we getting stuck in block signal. Um, so here's the um, signal code in scheduler pick next. So what it does is that it iterates over all of the living threads and then checks if one of them has an unmasked pending signal. And um, I mean, it will ignore that one if it doesn't have that. And then um, it doesn't dispatch in the currently executing process, that's fine, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then down here is where we actually do the dispatch. So the thing is that if the dispatch one pending signal tells us that you should not unblock the thread, then we don't unblock the thread. But so basically this guy here um, tells us whether or not we should unblock the thread. Uh, and it does so by returning like no or yes. But why doesn't it say yes? Okay, so here's this patch one pending signal. It just goes through all of the pending signals and then picks them, um, the first one, and then calls this patch signal in the thread. Uh, okay, and then we unmark, or we mark it as handled, if you will. I guess we're just clearing that bit. And then, um, we should find out what signal this is, actually. So let's see, define what was signal debug. Yeah, let's see what signal this is. And seems like we have some bit rot here. Um, process. Uh, here. Thingy and 425. Okay. So what signal is this? Um, 17. And I don't know that from 
top of my head, so that's a SIG child. Okay. So I guess it tries to execute CC, and it doesn't find it, and then it gives up and sends a SIG child to the make parent process. And then make gets stuck in block signal. Um, okay, so um, so the default signal action for um, sig child is to ignore it. Right. And if there's no handler installed, that means that we would be here. And we will just say, don't unblock the thread. Um, but the thread might still be in blocked signal state. So um, we should probably say that if state is um, blocked signal, and we will move it to runnable. Yeah. I think that's fine. Okay, let's try that. Make T. All right. Okay, so now we're exiting. Mm, but it doesn't look super great yet. So let's try with C, C, G, C, C, T. Um, did we build it? No. Well, it's exiting with status two. And it looks like there's supposed to be a message here, but it's not quite coming out. So, why is that? Um, bet that this has to do with um, stream buffering. Um, so like, as an STDIO, of course, it's like buffering things line by line. So maybe it's buffering it up and then not printing it out. But why would it do that though? I guess... Um, or actually, um, actually, maybe it is exiting early and then we don't F flush um, because so here, this is where we enter in any program that's linked to libc, we enter here and start. And then uh, we do a bit of um, initialization and then we call main here, right? And then after main returns, then we do f flush um, std out and std error. But maybe, um, maybe that should be an exit instead because if somebody just calls exit, then we're not gonna get here and then we won't flush them. So yeah, it should be here instead. Um, right? Um, I, yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, let's try it. sure if I'm building everything correctly here so let's do um, a full build no okay so why is that not working
die, exit. Um, wait, oh, did I forget to compile libc? Oh shit, okay, hold on. Uh, this, uh, keeping track of what you've compiled or not is sometimes very confusing when working with this many little things. No, okay, this isn't it. I'm, I'm, um, I'm in the wrong path here, so I have to give up and figure out what's going on. Um, but I kind of stubbornly want to try it one more time. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so, um, that error message is not coming out for some reason. And I don't know why, but let's uh, look at it from some other angle. So, what do we have here? Um, we can see that um, something is crashing. Bin GCC. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Um, so, bin 10 is where we exact make. Right, and then make um, forks and tries to execute GCC. But then it crashes while it's still make. Um, but we are in do exact. So wait. Um, but we are crashing in user space. So. Um, and we are crashing in malloc. Okay. With a big stack here. So let's see what those are. 64BC. String info create. 6E270. String builder to string. 6DC11. String format. 6AD04 is what? Is exact VPE. Um, right. Okay. And that's in UniSTD. Mm hmm. So you are crashing in string format. Why? Okay, so it's an unrecoverable page fault because you're trying to write to this address. But what's up that address? That's here. You're trying to write into your own executable. Why? Um, it's a write in malloc. Is that um, so? Where exactly was it? So it's here, which is in malloc at the end of malloc, right after we call mmap. So I guess mmap with name. Oh, yeah, OS alloc. So it's the last OS alloc here. Wait, where are you? Here. It's this one, and he's initializing this new memmapped memory, and it's not allowed. So he's trying to write. I guess yeah. So we're here. We're trying to store to that memory, and we can't. Of course, you can't because it's the executable. But why are we trying to do that? 
So mmap gave us executable. I, I, oh, oh. So this is um, definitely um, because, okay, so the executable is the very first thing that gets allocated in the process. So it gets the very first address. Um, and then here we're calling mmap and we're getting the very first possible address once again, which probably means that our um, address allocator has been reset or replaced or something um, during exec. Right? Yeah. Okay. So um, process CPP. So in exec, um, or rather in process, the address allocator is part of the page directory. So the page directory has a range allocator, and the range allocator is responsible for handing out um, virtual memory addresses. Um, but when we fork a process, then we shouldn't create a fresh new address allocator or a new range allocator. We should um, copy the one from the parent because he has the same memory map. Um, and I didn't think of that when I wrote this. So we should just pass in the um, fork parent. If we have one, uh, we'll pass in the um, page directory range allocator. And if we don't have one, we'll pass in null putter. Um, right, and then we just have to say const range allocator. So like uh, parent range allocator. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah. And then in page directory, we take one of these. So then if we have a parent range allocator, then we want to instantiate the range allocator here a bit differently. So we'll call um, copy constructor. Otherwise we will do a fresh new range allocator. And then range allocator needs a copy constructor. that do? It should just do, um, I mean, it should just copy the ranges verbatim, I guess, because there's no pointers or anything in here. It's just numbers. Um, so we can say parent. Okay. Um, and that would just be available ranges is parent allocator. Available ranges. work. Come on, build faster. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something about this. I want to build. Um, okay, we're moving forward. So still don't know what this M thing is about, but at least we're exiting. Um, so error trying to exact CC1. Let's try the directory. But what if I just do this myself? So that works just like it normally would, but for some reason make doesn't figure that out? What if we tell it the path? Oh. Mm, okay. Hello 
a dude. Hmm, that's a bit weird. But okay. Um, maybe it doesn't pick up the path, but the path is this. Um. Well, I mean, okay, um, maybe I should just be happy that it works. So let's make a make file here and see how that works. Oh, let's see, program is two. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, is that how it works? Uh, it's been a while since I wrote one of these. Is that how it works? Um, just to see now. Program T dot O. Oh fuck! I think maybe this is not going to work because I can't actually insert tab characters in my editor, and I think Make requires tab characters. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, missing separators. So this isn't frick. Okay. Um, let's cheat and um, mount. Because I can't actually insert tab characters, we are just going to edit that file here. Um, this is very silly. Why doesn't it save? Oh, fuck. I guess I can't edit that because I'm not the owner. So we have to do it in the terminal, actually. And on make file, okay. And let's insert some tab characters instead. And view mount, mount, sync, and let's try again. So that seems to almost work. Um, make that user bin. If we do that, then it kind of works, except something goes really wrong with SDL. Um, but, um, I, you know, I feel like I feel like we've gotten close enough here that I would like to wrap this up because um, we can at least we can we can build with make by saying make path user bin cc gcc t that works and uh, oh yeah and now because of the freaking make file then things fall apart but but. Uh, Screw that, I'm, I, I don't want to debug that right now. So um, we got far enough and uh, we have some changes that we want to commit, so let's do those. Um, so let's see what we have. Right, so, oh fuck, we should probably divide this into different parts. So um, let's go to libc first. Um, so in the startup code, we move a flush. I mean, this didn't actually seem to help, but I think it's still correct. So we should probably still do it. So we're moving a flush from the startup code after main returns and we're moving it to exit uh, here. Um, but, oh, wait, hold on. I realize now that I'm, I probably didn't do that perfectly. So. We should flush after we run the exit time destructors because what if these guys print something? Um, so we should do it here probably. Um, yeah, let's try that. Come on, 
work this time. It would be nice if that just worked. Um, so make CC, CCC. Nah. All right. Well, I thought that would work. Whatever. Um, but I think that's still a good change. So let's keep that. Okay. So what do we have? So we're moving F flush from um, start to exit. And then in um, f control, we are adding the file locking struct and these three defines. Even though they're actually not doing anything, we can still have them because whatever. Okay, and then in scdio, if you f close one of the standard streams, then we don't call free on it. But we still close it, but we don't free it because it's not malloc memory. Uh, and then if you call temp file, then we just do um, Fix me stub and crash. And here's that stuff in exit. And here's abort. Um, abort will now crash instead of call exit. I think that's better, but ultimately it should be implemented properly with a um, sig abort. Okay. And then finally, uh, in wait, we implement wait just as a wrapper around wait pid. So let's. That one we can do completely separately. Hit commit, let's see, implement wait as a wrapper around the pit. Cool. And then the rest, let's uh, add those, std lib, std io, the control. And CRT zero. Let's see. Um, what do we call these? Some compat fixes uh, for um, make. like these are not terribly exciting fixes, but um, but they they made it run. So let's see. Okay. So what else did we have? Um, we have some kernel changes, right? So first we had, this one I'm just gonna do separately. Let's say um, kernel dump backtrace on illegal opcode exception. Because that's just useful. And then we had a few different things. So when we create a process, we now pass in the range allocator to the page directory constructor, which makes sure that fork, fork children will inherit rather than um, start with a fresh range allocator. Um, and then signal bug, we don't want that to be defined. So do that. Then we're just fixing up the bit rot, and then here, if a thread is in blocked signal, then we make it runnable once again, All right? Damn, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, and then just fixing up the bit rot, bit rot, more bit rot, and finally more bit rot. Okay, so we can actually commit that separately. So let's say get that thread. Kernel. Um, If a um, signal is ignored, move the, make sure to move out at the blocked signal state. Make sure to um, let's say unset blocked signal state. Make sure we And so is it just the uh, range allocator stuff for me? Yeah. Okay. We'll say uh, kernel. Um, forked. 
processes should inherit um, the parent range allocator by copying it. Fort processes, fort children. Existing ranges. Okay. Cool. Let's push it. And let's try it one more time. So, a little bit of massaging. But it does build my test program. Cool. Mm. All right, uh, I think I think I'm gonna um, end it here, but I'm happy that we were able to actually make it build something. Um, so if you made it this far, then of course I would like to thank you for watching, and uh, I think I'm gonna be returning to programming on my own stuff a little bit more tomorrow or whenever the next video um, comes out, but. Uh, I would just say thank you again for, for hanging out and I hope to see you next time.